Okay, if you notice, the car's been all insulated, the firewall's been insulated. And if you remember from a previous video, I installed a bar here, a metal bar. I welded it on. And what this is for is to install all, all our relays on it, uh, possible grounds that we need, and also to put our uh, remote entry door brain box that we're going to put on here. Now, I also went ahead and welded on a stud, a quarter inch stud, on the end right here, okay, for possible ground wires that we might have to install. I keep saying this and it's very important, you have to have the ground wires grounded properly so your vehicle will function the way that you want it to be. Now the wire harness that you see in my hand, that goes to your steering column. That's all your steering column wires. And a couple of these wires, which are purple right here, if you look real close, okay, that wire right tied in to your shifter right here down on the bottom which is your neutral safety switch and I'm going to show you how to do that that's another important procedure so the first thing I need to do is I need to take the steering column out of the car the steering wheel because it's in my face and I can't uh, move around so when you're wiring your car up always take the steering wheel out of the car the first thing that you want to do when you start wiring your car up on the inside you want to go ahead and hook up that neutral safety switch right here. Now it's very important that this is hooked up. If you go to put your car in park and it ends up in reverse and you hit the key, that car will take off on you. This is one of the most important items to hook up on your vehicle for safety. So what you want to do is get some old wire, just like I've got right here, okay? This is wire off of our wire harness, extra lengths. Doesn't matter what color you use. And go ahead and install your eyelet butt connectors. Remove your nuts and bolts, your nuts and washers off of the neutral safety switch. And go ahead and install the two wires. Do not drop your nuts here because if you drop those nuts, they're hard to replace if you lose them. So go ahead and install those on there, just like that. Every aftermarket shifter that you purchase should have a neutral safety switch. What this is is a contact switch, which uh, produces electricity for your starter to work. So go ahead and tighten those up, just like so. Make sure that those connections are tight. You don't want loose connections. Take your two wires like so. Go ahead and loosely run them up the doghouse. Fish them the same way that you did your other wires, underneath the gas pedal. You want to run them through your steering column and lay them right there. Now, if you notice right here, in this section of the GM steering column, you're going to see two plugs. And you're going to have a black one and a blue one. Those actually tie in together like a puzzle, just like so. If you look right there, okay. And those are actually your main ignition switch wires. Now, if you have the 14 circuit wire harness, you won't be using the brown one because that's your accessories. And the 14 circuit wire harness does not have an accessory hookup. So we're going to go ahead and trim that one down. If you have two pink wires, go ahead and trim one of your pink wires. Okay, the only wires that you'll need after you cut the two off is your pink one is your coil, your red one is your battery, the yellow one is for your neutral safety switch, and the orange one is for your uh, ignition switch on off. So go ahead and strip them wires down, just like so. Add your yellow buck connectors. I'm going to use yellow on these because the wires are very thick. Don't use blue ones. Start hooking your wires up. 
as you hook them up, go ahead and set your switch in there loosely because we want our wires to be the proper length, just like so. So measure it out, add about another inch to it, cut it off, strip your wire, make, your, make sure that you use Make sure you use the right diameter stripper for the wire that you're stripping. You don't want to cut any of the copper wire off inside. And go ahead and connect it. This one here is ready to hook up into our switch. Then what you want to do is take your blue block that you have on your column and go ahead and strip the wires and uh, Add your yellow buck connectors. Make sure those are those are very very uh, strong and that they're installed properly. And it all fits together as a puzzle, just like so. And go ahead and install those in your column. And they have to be put in together. You can't put them in separate. So stick them in there, and you'll hear them click in, just like so. And then. The two neutral safety switch wires that we ran through the car, what you're going to do is you're going to loosely hang them on here so you got enough ample uh, slack in them. You're going to take one wire and you're going to hook it to your, you're going run it to run it through the column. And the best way to do this is to have all your wires run the same way. And you're going to hook it to your yellow wire on your steering column. That is your neutral safety switch. So go ahead and strip your wire, put it in your buck connector like so, and hook it up. And make sure that you have a very, very good connection. The other wire that you have, okay, from your neutral safety switch on your shifter is going to go to your purple wire. And you're going to see a brown end on it, okay, what you want to do is take that wire and bring it up and cut the two wires to length. And once again, always make sure you have enough slack in all your wires so nothing will be pulling on each other and you don't have a problem. Take your wire strippers, strip your wire, twist, Add your buck connector, bring your safety switch wire up through the column, connect it to the other end of the buck connector, and now our safety switch on our shifter is hooked up and we don't ever have to worry about that again. You have two wires left over, and it's pretty obviously obvious where those go. The red one goes with the red, and the pink goes with the pink. So go ahead.